Hi, I'm Arjun Tay, and uh, I'm here to present my game, uh, Neon. And I call it a fighting sport arena, for lack of a better name. Um, so what the main idea is, is that I'm trying to fuse the Twitch-paced action of a fighting game, and also the strategy involved in games like FIFA and Madden, making sure that you have the right players in the right spaces at the right time. So the way I envision putting these things together is a balance between what I call micro and macro interactions between two teams. Um, so before I go into it, I'd like to talk about why this may be a good game. And uh, the first one would be definitely fighting games don't foster teamwork. Fighting games just it's a one v one. There there is no team. But this game here does. We emphasize teamwork, and there's also a lot of fighting aspects to this game. And also, sports in general, like sport video games, don't really have any sport aside from maybe FIFA. But that's also another market that we can tap into. And I'd like for this to be a rated T game, just so the, the audience is much larger. And we follow the free-to-play model so that more and more people can play. So, overview, it, this is going to be a five-man team, two teams, so it would be a 5v5, two goal points, and the objective is to get the game object to the goal, so a ball, a soccer ball or something like that. And we would have a sci-fi setting, much like Tron, or I mean, any sci-fi movie really. Um, and the idea behind that is that with a lot of bright colors and a lot of contrasting dark colors, you can actually, all the moves that every character has is very readable. Every change in the game you can notice, which makes it a lot easier to like sort of react and make the right moves. And this would be sort of a console game, although a PC with a game controller would be a viable option. So mechanically speaking, this game would be a third person sort of hack and slash camera, uh, like Devil May Cry. Uh, you would move around in a 3D space, you can jump around, you can interact with maps, so you'd have walls that you can jump off of. You could jump over like little like ground tables, I guess. And there would be a combo system, so you would have, you know, A, A, B, up, down, left, right, kind of deal. And um, you would have classes, so somebody may be stronger but slower, some people may be faster but weaker, and all of this comes together through um, stamina. The idea is of stamina. Like this is how I, this is how the game would uh, sort of regulate all these different pieces of the game. So going back to classes, there would be five classes for the five team members of, of a team. Um, within each class, you would have a, a group of characters to use. Uh, the example I have here is from Disgaea. Uh, you, would have, you would have separate classes, but within those classes you have like different characters that have a little nuance for that class. Um, but also, what you should realize is that a team doesn't actually have to consist of these five different classes. You may want to opt for more offensive players to be a much more offensive team that's weak defensively, but, but tries to finish the game quickly. So stamina is how I, I talked about stamina regulating the game. And the way this would work is that you would have a different amount of stamina between each classes, between each character. And all actions that you do require stamina. So if you, were, if you were to confront an enemy, do any moves, it would require stamina. If you were to pick up the ball and move it, it would require stamina. If you were to jump off walls, jump across a gap, that would require stamina. And when you take damage, stamina is taken away from you. And it's also possible to have negative stamina. This way, people don't actually quote unquote die and have to go back to a spawn point, but if they do go into negative stamina, they won't be able to do anything. And they'll, they'll be without action until their stamina uh, comes back. So it's, it regains over time. And the regeneration rates would also be different uh, for classes as well. And along with stamina, you would have uh, what I call charge. And charge fills up based on various circumstances. So maybe, you, maybe by taking damage, you fill up your charge meter in, in game fighting games. Um, or if you deal out damage, you gain meter, right? And uh, this would allow for special moves. So maybe you run faster, or you do you have like a special attack that does a serious amount of damage, which could stun an enemy for a considerable amount of time. So what this comes down to is micromanagement. So you have to have all the right moves in all the right places. 
you have to be able to confront your enemy and, and execute the correct moves while it, when attacking them so that you can come out of the confrontation having achieved what your goal was. And uh, what I mean by goal is that when you, when you uh, confront an enemy, you, your goal may not exactly be to uh, beat them down. You may want to just uh, sort of harass them so that you distract them so that they don't go after the ball in the game. Um, this, this actually leads into macro management because uh, the goal for each confrontation may be different depending on what you're trying to do for your team, how you're <coughs> getting that ball to the goal. And confrontation should also only be about five moves each. That, this helps maintain the sort of twitch pace action to keep it fast paced. So in macro management, we have the 5v5 matches. And you also want to, this is where sort of the, the sport aspect comes in is where you have your fast players moving like in different places and you have your slow players in probably defense. Uh, this, this all depends on your team strategy, what your team decides. And um, in player-to-player -player interactions, you may want to decide to have more people in an area so that if anybody, if any of the enemies try to come near you, you guys can sort of team up on this one guy. Um, yeah. So along with interactions between the teams, trying to get the ball from one place to another, uh, you would have dynamic matches or dynamic maps and matches. So. Uh, you can choose between times and rounds, a bit like sort of like Super Smash Bros. You can either have 10, 15, 20 minute games, or uh, the rounds based on how many goals you make on each team. Um, and also the maps change based on the amount of time that's progressed in the game. So like the uh, Super Smash Bros. Uh, map, Pokemon Stadium, as time progresses, things change. You get new platforms, you get uh, maybe like a, like a dangerous sort of obstacle in the way that you could take damage from and things like that that change the way that the two teams interact with each other so now as a team when you come together you have to decide whether or not you should change your strategy in order to accommodate the changes in the maps or maybe you just keep on going with what you have so what we would have for a ranking system after you after you play a game after you scored your, your goals, you come back out of the game and you gain, you gain a rank. You have an overall rank, which would be sort of your rank in, in, in the uh, community. And then you'd have a rank for each class that you play. So if you're really good at a defensive player, then you would have a really high defense class rank. And the reason for this is so that when you're trying to make a team with somebody else, you can, you can sort of advertise yourself as saying, hey, I'm a really good defensive player, you're a really good offensive player, I think if we work together as a team, we could actually be really powerful. Um, but this by no means makes you like sort of have to funnel into one class, because you have your overall rank as well. So you can train in other ones as well to increase your rank and things like that. So the greatest thing to remember about Neon, I guess, is that you take fighting, <coughs> and then you take strategy, and you add it to sports, and then you have Neon. So you have to remember the, twist, the twitch paced action, the strategy involved, and sort of the sportsy aspects of trying to get the ball into the right spots. Although I would probably consider the chess and the football to be the same. I mean, you know, they're the same. 